We're here at the Kingston Flying Club. It's a special day. It's November 11th, Remembrance Day. It's the first time the pilots from the club are going to be doing a special formation flyover over the ceremonies in Kingston. Um, started off as I can't even remember when I was a little kid. I had uh, airplanes. My grandfather gave me a toy airplane. I had uh, I built balsa wood models. I had rubber band uh, propeller models. Uh, grade three project. We had to make a little booklet, and mine was how to fly an airplane. And it just kept on growing from there. I joined the uh, Air Force. I was in for 20 years. Uh, went around the world uh, numerous times. I can't even count. And uh, every day I go flying. Uh, it's it's a joy, it's a, a job that, it's not a job, it's, it's, a, it's a hobby that is a job. Because of Remembrance Day and the uh, Kingston Flying Club's long history with aviation, with the military, uh, with the Commonwealth Air Training Plan uh, here at Kingston, several of our members, several of our past members, uh, present members are in the military. I'm retired military. Uh, Remembrance Day is special for the club and uh, to do something special for Remembrance Day uh, we put a precision flying team together and uh, we practiced the last uh, month and a half and it culminated today at 11 o'clock with a flyover uh, Marysville on Wolf Island, uh, Kingston and then also the town of Wilton just uh, northwest of here. This past summer, I was interested in, in sort of looking into aviation and starting my pilot training. And so I uh, came over here, met Tony and everyone uh, that's at the Flying Club, and um, just started working on my pilot's license sort of three, four times a week and, and just plugging away at it. And you got it? And I got it, yeah, last week. Well, first of all, it's sort of the idea came about um, one evening when Tony and I were uh, getting together and we thought, well, maybe it'd be kind of an interesting sort of opportunity to give back to the community and uh, sort of honour those soldiers who have uh, fought overseas. And we know that with um, sort of current situation, um, economic situation, that, you know, flybys don't always happen all that frequently, and especially for smaller towns in and around sort of Kingston and so forth. So we thought, well, hey, if we can get four people involved, uh, why not? And so um, this is sort of how the idea was born. And uh, we ended up uh, talking about it and uh, planning it out. And uh, once you get up in the air and you start uh, in formation, uh, it's just a complete thrill. Your mind is concentrating on the guy next to you and just your spacing and speed and all that. And everything else in your head just completely goes out the, out the tailpipe and you're just concentrating on flying and being safe. It's, it's a lot more uh, involved than it appears as far as understanding what the outs are, understanding what the principles are, the safety issues, the concerns, what you're you know, going to do if things do go wrong. And when you're in basically formation flying, your whole focus is your position only. It's easy to stay in sync with a car on the 401, but you start adding that third dimension uh, to it. and. It's, it's a little different. Yeah. But we have to time that <clears throat> so we get over the Varney Tower. Or the, that area just a little Safety obviously is, is the number one thing uh, and uh, we were lucky to bring in uh, a retired snowboard uh, pilot. Uh, he was with the Snowbirds for two years. Most of them are in there for a two-year stint. And uh, he uh, donated his time, uh, came up here. Uh, we had a couple of classroom sessions uh, before we went flying. Um, most of our flying was done here at, at the desks, going through the procedures, going through the safety precautions, uh, uh, what ifs, uh, making sure that when we went in the air that everybody knew what was going to happen.
wind was a bit challenging for sure. Okay. Uh, we were we had a couple of gusts that uh, you know, we had to overcome, and uh, of course we've got updrafts and downdrafts, so we were kind of going up and down all over the place. So again, trying to average all of the waving out and oscillations out, and and just uh, keeping it steady as a rock. Formation flying, uh, when you watch the snowbirds, etc., it's uh, something that a lot of pilots uh, dream about, and it's. It, it, it requires skill and, and you're always trying to better yourself as a pilot and it, and it does improve your aviation skills. Um, in the past, uh, I, I flew uh, skydivers quite a bit and we did formation flying when they did uh, large uh, jumps and uh, did the skydiving uh, routines. So I did have uh, quite a bit of experience in the past with formation flying. Remembrance Day came up, coming up. Uh, thought it would be a good add-on for the Flying Club uh, to show their appreciation, appreciation to the uh, members that are serving and the members in the past that have served. Yeah, my girlfriend and my parents were uh, down at the city centre at the Cenotaph and uh, my dad and I would actually usually go to the Cenotaph um, uh, in Ottawa and we've been doing it since I was a young kid and um, never thought I'd be able to actually be participating in a flyby uh, over a city centre. That's uh, quite amazing. Did you get any feedback from them? I know I saw you right on your phone after. Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely called them up, asked how, they, how everything looked and um, they said it looked fantastic. So I haven't seen the pictures yet for myself, but hopefully, hopefully we're in a, in a you know, equally spaced out and nice and tight. So. Something I'd like to see continue, and uh, I think you know more and more of our members probably will get more involved with wanting to do or interested in doing formation flying. But ultimately, the, uh, the the flyover for Remembrance Day is something I'd like to see go on as an annual thing. Uh, I think it was fantastic, and and uh, I think for the people on the ground, I can't speak for them, but I hope uh, it, it was meaningful, uh, especially to the Air Force people down below. For more information, check out their website, see Kingston from a completely different perspective. I'm Curtis for K-Town Source.